Hi everyone for tonight's nightcap and review. I'm having a soda and I'll be reviewing Bathed in Blood by Callie Moss. Now originally I did receive an art copy but she did a surprise early release and I downloaded it then off of KU so I could support the author that way uh, so they could get their page reads. But as always I'm going to give my honest opinion. These are the tropes. And these are the triggers and content warnings. Please pay attention to these. This is a very gory, dark romance, splatterpunk, um, morally black book. So pay attention to those triggers. Your mental health matters. But what are my what uh what did I give this book? I ended up giving it five stars. Oh my god, I can't wait to talk about this book. But before I get into my thoughts and feelings, because I have some thoughts and feelings, what's this book about? This book is about Lana who ends up giving herself up to save her brother after he is no longer able to pay his drug debts. The people who take her turn her life into one of suffering, pain, uh, violence, death, and so much more. And she then becomes the blood princess who, if people have enough money on the dark web, can pay to see the horrors that she receives and the horror she dishes out. However, unbeknownst to her, uh, a longtime customer and fan of hers has been watching and planning and will do anything that he can to bring down the competitor's operation uh, just so that he can get his hands on his blood princess. So what are my thoughts on this book? Well, again, I'm giving it five stars. It's dark, it's gritty, it's a thriller, it's super spicy, it's gory and bloody, and I loved everything about it. I could not put it down. I am conflicted about how much I loved it because of how dark it is. I'm like, I shouldn't be liking this, but I cannot put it down, and I loved every moment of it. It is a novella. It is in the splatterpunk genre. Uh, this is a genre I am just dipping my toes into. I think most of the books that I've read in this genre are actually from Callie Moss, and I have loved all of her works that I have read that fall into this category. I really want to explore more of her works. I think most of her works are in the horror splatterpunk and she does it so well and I enjoy them immensely. Now for our characters you have Lana the uh, female main character who your heart just breaks for her and everything that she's gone through. She gave herself up out of love to save her brother and is thrown literally into hell um, where horrible things are done to her but you also struggle with these conflicting feelings because of the horrible things she is at one point forced to do but ends up doing them mostly in order to survive. So you're just left with these very complex feelings about her and I adored those feelings because it just made the story that much more intense for me and then you have our male main character um christian who is not a good guy he never tries to be a good guy or says he's a good guy but he tries to be the best guy for lana and the way he talks about her takes care of her tries to protect her it just gets your heart pounding and it just gives you all the feels and i love the two of them together they are both very broken people but their broken pieces fit together perfectly and i just love their story and it like i said this whole book was dark and intense check your triggers i loved it um it is like i said a novella so i read it really fast i probably would have finished it in a day if i didn't have other responsibilities um and i just love this author's works so you need to see read this book and explore her work if you haven't heard of her before um you definitely need to explore this genre as well this book like i said is available currently on ku so definitely give it a download if you are comfortable with uh the content and i hope everyone has a good night and happy readings